Hey everybody, it's Doc Green, the Rose Scout. This is my third attempt at this video uh, because I've been putting it, I get way off track. Y'all know how I do sometimes. I'm trying to get better at that. So this is my third attempt at this video. Guys, this one's going to be about the LLC. Should I have an LLC as a lease purchase driver or should I wait until after my truck is paid off? What's the advantages or disadvantages of having an LLC? Guys, before we go any further, let's go ahead and hit subscribe on here. Hit that notification button and hit the like button on there if you, if you like the content that I give out and everything. Um, I know that a lot of the videos I've been doing lately, financial videos and everything, has led to other people asking me other question, types of questions. And one of them has come up quite often here lately is about an LLC. Why would you have an LLC as a lease purchase driver? Seems like a waste of time, waste of money by uh, filing the papers and, and everything. Here's why you want an LLC as a lease purchase driver. One, you got to start establishing your business credit. What do I mean by business credit? When you're out here and you own your own business, if you have a sole proprietorship, anytime you go buy something, it's, it's like you. You're not going to use your social security number. Use your personal credit and everything. So when you go buy a car, you it affects your credit, if you, history and everything. And some people go, well, I have good credit, so I'm not worried about it. Yeah, it sounds great, except if something goes wrong with that business and someone sues that business, then they're suing you. As an LLC, by keeping yourself separate from that, if they sue the business and the business goes bankrupt or anything, you're not bankrupt. The LLC is bankrupt. As long as you keep what they call, as long as you don't do what they call piercing the corporate veil. I'll get into that later on in a different video. So that's one reason, credit. Number two is business credit also helps you buy things and shows an establishment. And when if you ever want to sell your company, you can also sell what they call the uh, POC uh, credit, line, the credit line with the business if, if you trust them with that. Um, so if someone comes in there and buys your business and you show a good line of credit and everything, then when they buy in your business, they're also buying that line of credit. They're buying the EIN number. They're buying the, the D&B number, everything. Some people go, well, I, that's that's way on down there. I, I'm not that big or anything. Why, why would I need an LLC? Okay, let's say that you finish your lease purchase program and you're ready to go to work for yourself. When you leave here and you go to a brokerage house and you try to get a, a load, some of these brokers won't work with you unless you've been in business for a year and you can show them you've been in business for a year or two, some of them are even two years. So how do you do that? Well, you've been in business for two years. You can show them your bank statements. You can show them, I filed, I, this is how long, show them your LLC papers. This is how long I've been in business. These are my bank statements. How, and they can look on there and they see the amount of money you made and everything. You go, yeah, he's, he's a real truck driver. Because they, they're getting tired. A lot of these bigger brokers are getting tired of being having their loads double and triple brokered. So they're starting to ask for more qualifications. I think it's C.H. Robinson. I'm not sure. I think it's C.H. Robinson that even requires you to not only have one year of verifiable experience, but they also want to see at least one DOT inspection in that because the way they look at it, if you have not been pulled over in your first year of owning a trucking company, your first year of having an MC DOT number, you're not a real truck driver. Because everyone their first year, that's going to happen. It's just going to happen. According to them. So the requirements out here are getting a lot stricter. So you want to start your LLC as soon as you possibly can. When you Before you go sign a lease purchase or anything else, get it to an LLC. Get your direct deposit set up so it's depositing your money into your LLC bank account. Now, if some of you guys have been down to it, uh, a bank with your sole proprietor, you go to... Uh, I don't know. I'm going to say, assume some of you have, and they won't open you up a bank account in the name of your sole proprietorship because that's not, that's just like you. It's just a personal bank account. If you go in there with an LLC number and open up your bank account, it's a business account. Okay. Now you go, some people go, well, I open my own business as a sole proprietor. It's still a business. Yeah, but it's still just you. You may call yourself something differently like, uh, docs trucking, but it's just you. So they're not going to open up you a business account. Once you go get an LLC, then you file for your EIN number, employment identification number with the IRS. You take both of those sheets of paper, and then you can go to the bank, and you can even get a Dun & Bradstreet number to go with it and go to the bank. DMB number is not necessary to open up a bank account, but sometimes you can use, sometimes you can't. 
you must have an EIN number and you must have those LLC papers. Then you go to the bank and you open up your company, bank account. So all the money's getting deposited there and you cut yourself a check out each week. If you ever hire another driver or later on and you've been in business for a few years and you built up your business credit and that other driver gets an accident out here, if you have a sole proprietorship, whoever he has an accident in can go through your insurance, sue them, you know, get all the money out of them that they go to pay and then come after your personal assets, your house, your car, your bank account, your wife's bank account, your wife's car or husband, spouse, I guess I should say or your children's uh, college fund, things like that, your retirement plan, they can attack all of that stuff. Don't take that risk. But if you have an LLC and you keep from Pierce Knight Corporate Veil, again, I'll get all in that later on in another video, then that protects your assets. So they can sue the, co the company, LLC, and they can take the money out of the bank account, and they might be able to get the truck if you got paid off truck equipment like that, but at least it protects your personal assets. So that's another reason you want an LLC. Third reason you want an LLC is to start building up business credit. When you're out here and you go to try to buy, if you let's say you pay off your truck and you want to go buy another truck and you go out there and you use your personal credit to buy that truck or you establish a company then after you pay off your truck, then go establish an LLC and go try to buy a truck or trailer or some other equipment or something. Yeah, your company doesn't have any credit history. You just started it. They're not going to let you buy a truck and everything like that. If you establish your credit history as soon as you start driving, then you can build up your credit history while you're still doing your lease purchase. So that way when you're finished with your lease purchase and you're ready to go buy your own trailer or whatever you want to do, other equipment or whatever, you've already established your business credit. Well, how, what, how, What's the difference between business credit and personal credit? Because a lot of people will say, well, I go in here and I applied for a business loan, but they want my personal social security number. I don't care what they want. If they want to sell me this, they can use my business credit. Because I built it up over the last few years while I was driving a lease purchase. That's the whole point of it. So whenever you go to buy, when you get your LLC, you get your bank account open up, the next thing you want to do is you want to contact a company like Uline. And there's a couple of others that I get it all in again in a more in-depth video. This is why you want an LLC, not how to do and how to operate one. So I have a bank account opened up. I give a new line. I start buying things from them like trash bags, gloves, fasteners, whatever. Just stuff for a knee around the house, packing tape, tape, whatever. And I keep doing this over and over and over with them, build up my credit. And of course, they, they increase my amount every, every, every couple of months after I've been paying them off and everything. Just like regular credit, only it's in the name of your business. And you buy bigger things, better things that you might need for your company, or maybe even for your house or anything, just buy it with your company. You know what I'm saying? And that way you're building up your business credit. So that way when you're done, after your truck is paid off, you walk out here and you show, yes, I've had credit. And they can look it up on your DMB number. There's a special kind of credit agency that only deals with business. It doesn't deal with personal. So if you go out here and you're buying stuff on your with using your social security number and you're buying business equipment and stuff, these bigger companies are looking at that when it comes time to go buy a truck or something, they go look on your business credit and say, well, you don't have any business credit. You go, yeah, I bought it over here using my social security number. No, that went on your personal credit reports. Equifax, TransUnion, um, the other one, I can't remember the name of it right now. I mean, I went on your three personal ones. I did not go on the one that looks at business. So as long as you're establishing your business credit with Uline and, and some of these other, and I'll, again, I'll get all those names for, for you later. Then they go on to a business. There's a special site that deals with business credit. It shows how long you've been in business. The yes, it's got good payoff history. These are companies that extend the business credit, and they work with those. And that's what you hand them when you go in here to try to buy a new truck or buy a trailer or you're buying a generator, or you're buying whatever you need to do on your truck and everything. You're trying to use business credit. They go, they look at, it and go, oh, he got, he has, he has a real business with real business credit established over the last couple of years. Yeah, we can give him a loan for this, you know, with money down, whatever, things like that. But that's another reason you want to start your LLC as soon, actually before you sign a lease purchase program, okay? So those, those are the main reasons. One, legal liability. Two, financial liability. And three, business credit. 
build up. And there's some other reasons. There's some tax benefits and everything if you're making enough money. Usually as a lease purchase driver, you're not really going to have any kind of a, any kind of a advantages for taxes, but it will come out advantages for other things like that, the ones I've just given you, and start establishing you as a business entity. Anyway, guys, I hope this video helped. Remember, hit subscribe below, hit notify if this information is for you. Leave me a comment if you have any questions or anything, and we'll get into some other uh, more topics later on. Thanks.